Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett, Fett Plays RimWorld 1.0. Uh, you know what? Don't rebuild this bed. I don't want to continuously rebuild them, and even, even in this quality, they give a beauty of two, which means they're good enough. Uh, why are you... I canceled the order to deconstruct the bed! What the heck, man? I swear. Life has been really funky to me lately, and I don't appreciate it. I don't need you guys to be more funky. Alright? Give me some more cannons. I'm wondering if we can build some of these. And make good things happen out of them. We need a CNC module to do so. Or, CNC machine. Excuse me, don't get your C's and your C's twisted. Alright, CNC machine. There it is. So it's yay big and yo wide. Um, let's go ahead and just build it. I guess we will uh, do something like this. I'm sorry, we won't do it like that, though. Oh, I'm sorry, we won't do it like that, though. We have to do it a very specific way, or the game's gonna cry at us. God. I'm irritable today. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. Okay. All these shenanigans are not helping me out. Alright, we're gonna build that. We're gonna build a module. Well, I wanted to build a module next to it, but life's too short for that, apparently. Just give me the regular machine. All right, build me some beds. Let's get some defenses going here. Let's put a dumping zone outside. Just so that we have somewhere to dump our garbage. All right. Move all the rocks that are inside to the outside. Yeah, this is just components and steel. We have more than enough to actually get that built. So no worries there. Beautiful. Yo, more beds coming in. Hey, the room quality is decent now. There you go. That's all you need. Decent room quality with a little bit of a place to sit your butt. It's really all you need in life. Okay, once this is built, we can start building some shells for these babies. Because I'm thinking we're going to do some defenses with these babies. You know? Since they can sit on the outside. Could be neat. Could be terrible. Only way to find out is to build some. I do like this dam. I think it's a really neat little defensive thing. Are there any that don't take advanced components, though? Like this guy? Could be better. Burst shot of eight. Nice fire rate. Cooldown of a second. Could be nice. Ooh, this one's unmanned. That's pretty neat. I don't want to go through the whole thing of... Well, maybe I do. I mean, this 200 damage... It does slap pretty hard, but no, I don't think I do. And of course, our super big guns would require advanced components, although this one wouldn't. And it still does 380 damage and can be shot from the inside. So it's a possibility. Let's see. They do get a lot smaller, and I'm thinking we might not even need the big ones. Just a couple of these small boys in a couple of places could be great. Can this thing shoot over walls? Would it tell us if it couldn't? Maybe. Let's see. Has internal storage capacity. They don't all seem to tell you. Some of them do, some of them don't. Like... It's a little weird. 
Which ones do? This one can shoot over walls. This can shoot over walls. Okay. You have to stand right behind it, though. This one's unmanned, of course. This, I assume, cannot. Although it doesn't tell me for sure. I'm assuming the rifles can't. Nor can you put them in the place where you want them, so it doesn't matter. So let's see. Advance, advance. All of these require advanced components. Which isn't necessarily something I want. Cannot shoot over walls. See, that's good to know. I wish they all had that. <laughs> Can this one shoot over walls? It will- it refuses to let me know. See, it's a little inconsistent. With the way it tells you whether or not they can be- Because of the size, it cannot be placed under a roof. Consumes 200 watts of power. Cannot shoot over walls. See, that's all I needed. That's the info I needed. This guy can shoot over walls, obviously. And does, like, a ton of damage. But what else? Everything, well, nah, everything takes too many freaking advanced components, man. It either takes way too much advanced components and can't shoot over walls, or it can shoot over walls and... Hmm. Can you shoot over walls? Cannot shoot over walls. So this guy can shoot over walls. Can you shoot over walls? I think I checked you before. You only require six advanced components. Can you shoot over walls? Cannot be placed under a roof. You can put it in between stuff. Explodes big does not say although I assume being a naval gun like the other big one maybe it can well this little guy explodes you can place a turret doesn't say all right what about this little guy who only takes two advanced components doesn't say I hate it. <laughs> I hate how inconsistent it is when it tells when it comes to telling me whether or not I could shoot over walls. This cannot shoot over walls. See, at least that one told me. I'll take that. I will take the knowledge. Obviously, the howitzers can. I mean, I've seen it do that. These SIGs can. But I don't know, man. I'd like to build some of these because I think they'd be cool. But on the other hand, I could just build a bunch of Devastator Mortars and devastate the hell out of everyone. It takes the guesswork out of it because they're goddamn awesome. Everyone knows how amazing Devastator Mortars are. You know, they mildly break the game. Which is, of course, why we're going to build a couple. But, I mean, they make anything similar to them obsolete. And they don't even require freaking advanced components. They do require a lot of components, but not advanced. Uh, we are going to send down more steel. As it turns out, we got a little bit more steel down here to send. Uh... Oh, bug corpses. Great. That's what I needed. Okay, so this thing's built. I wanted to take a look. Dismantle turret materials. Make a freaking crappy, silly computer. Uh, so most of these take chem fuel and steel. Those are two things I don't know if I want to invest in right now. So you know what? Deconstruct it. It's cool. It's just a lot of work that doesn't seem 
to have that much of a payoff, you know? Compared to some of these other options we got. Like those broke-ass Devastators. But like, even the mini snipers are better. How much plasteel do we have? We have a lot of plas. Yeah, let's throw, throw some mini snipes around here as well. In fact, I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna go all in here with these mini snipes. We're gonna look for more. Yeah, just like I said, all in. Alright, do the same thing on the other side. For all the spots that'll allow us. I'm the only concern I have is soft sand. It's gonna ruin a part of our plan, but I'm gonna cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. Alright. There we go. And then around the corner, we're gonna just have an opening there. Okay, we might put a different turret on the inside section. Just for funsies. Cougar is hunting Yanuska. Okay. I mean, that sounds like it could be a problem. Possibly. All right, well, that didn't work out. Anyway. Hello. Would you like some shoot juice? Because you're about to get an injection of it. Nice shot, that 14. You, you gonna try again? Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna build defenses all around. Maybe something different in the front areas. I don't know. Uh, in the front areas, just get me... Some regular mini turrets. Yeah, no. I do kind of like those flame turrets, but that requires chem fuel, so that seems like work. Yeah, sure. Throw up a couple of sentry guns in the front areas. I'm sorry you can only support medium because there's soft sand there. That's why we had to build up that way in the first place. Right. Right. I now remember. Um, however, anything that requires only light could go there. Hmm. So we still have options, maybe. Possibly. Throw a landmine there. Let's see, is there anything I could build that only... Oh, the charge turrets only require light. Okay. Plasteel charges it is. What a perfect racket. All right, next, I'm gonna need some conduits going round, going round. Cause this whole place needs some conduits going round, going round. Okay, yeah, I'm in the right spot. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this, the uh, turrets on the outside relatively exposed. Come on, shield. You got Bastion. You should have nothing to worry about. Okay. So we're going to need to toss some materials down. Down there, of course. That ain't no thing. Some advanced components. Some other things. Probably. I don't even. Got an extreme break risk on Mal still. And Layla. But their moods are going up slowly. This is a slightly impressive barrack now, after all. Apparently there are people uh, who have relationships who are visiting. Shadow's mother-in-law, Pepsi's mother, visiting Ragamuffin. And they're going to be very surprised when they find no one there. Probably.
Anyway, yeah, we're going to need a steel injection. I want to look to see if there's any vanometric power cells anywhere else. Then we might be able to ship around. Uh, yes. This is kind of what I thought. We had three up here. Yeah, go ahead and um, uninstall these. We're going to ship those over here because three power cells or two power cells is not enough to put all of these online. In fact, one power cell powers two of these. So, yeah, not nearly enough. All right. Go ahead and uninstall these batteries for now. Orbital site found. Not really caring about those right now. They don't do too much for us. So I'm just going to leave them. Let them do their thing. Let them think they're being helpful. I don't remember how much each sniper turret cost in power. I'm going to assume it's a lot. Rogue AI without power. This rapidly drains its mood. Well, have you tried reconnecting? Or do you need to be directly connected because you're a big blubbering baby of a machine? Yep, you're a big blubbering baby of a machine. Connect me to power now. You know what? <laughs> Get uninstalled until we put you back up. All right. In fact, why even do that? Just reinstall you. No, 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 no. Just reinstall you right. Oh, that's right. Because the game is kind of dumb. It won't let me do that until I uninstall it first. That's okay. That's okay. We'll be fine. We are making some robotic matrices up in space, which is pretty nice. I like that. I like that a bit. So these boys take 100 power each. Okay, that's not that bad at all. How many are we going to have? Like, uh, well, that's 10 there. So we're going to have 50 of those. So that's going to be 5,000 watts, which actually all the vanometrics would be able to power. Okay, speaking of power, we're going to need some batteries. Give me some improved batteries over here. Uh, in fact, put them in this room. Uh, the improved ones only take components of steel. Yeah, okay. That's what I want then. And we're probably going to need conduits in there. Otherwise, the batteries being in there is going to be a little, a little on the pointless side. So let's go ahead and power this room as well. Connect it. Connect it. Connect it. Okay, moods should be able to head up a, it a little bit as they enjoy this room. Yo, can someone uninstall this thing? Pinky, you doing that? Thank you. Alright, its mood has dropped to 99. My god. Connect me to power now. Pinky says, shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Space already occupied. Good lord. Most demanding little AI. There. You connected the power. Do me a favor and shut up. Wasabi? Wasabi. Okay. Yeah. Just prevent the zits and we're good. That's all you gotta do. Should can you get a zit in space? Probably. <laughs> um, but I don't know for sure. It would make sense if you can't. But it kind of. All right, I think we have a little bit too many mechanoid parts up here. <laughs> we might want to spread those around a bit. Anyway, back here in Fort Yangu. Can we load up these boys in a transport pod? These Venometrix shales? Technically cells, but shales work too. Um, that would assume we could find them on the list, wouldn't it? That Yeah, it would. Um... Yeah, I get it. We have a lot of weapons over here. Including a lot that are just kind of garbage. And a lot of dead people over here. Okay, there we go. Three vanometric power cells. Load them up, send them off. Yo, what about this alpha poly bed, though? Yeah, load that up, too. We're going to send that over. 
That should be it, though. Okay. You can... I just want to confirm. These things can make it to the JT drive. Oh, yeah, they can. Okay, cool. Load it up, then. Yeah, we can get that bed moved over, and then we can just deconstruct one of these and replace it with that bed, and it should increase the quality of the room a lot. While we're doing that, where is our other... other shuttle? Where did I leave that thing? Did I leave it in Ragamuffin? I appear to be missing a shuttle. Because I only have one here. Wait, wasn't it supposed to be... Didn't I drop a shuttle here? Did it get dismantled again? I hate it when that happens. That might have been what happened. Because I, I swear I left the shuttle here. But now I honestly don't remember. Whatever. Load up this shuttle. Give it enough fuel pods to get back home. And then we're going to shove it full of some plasteel. 1177. And then just chock it full of steel. And send that down. Alright, while we're doing that... Let's make about 10 K9 units. And then we'll get them deconstructed. Hi, Voltaire. We're keeping you, though. Alright. How's it going over here? You got some caviar. Nice. Microton... Pretty quiet right now. They don't really need much. Everything they do need, they kind of already have. What What can I say? Life's good in Microton. That's not a bad thing. In fact, it's the opposite of a bad thing. It's a good thing. Um, visitors have arrived in Ragamuff and they're afraid of outlanders and employees. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry. You have three robots protecting you. Androids. Sorry. Don't get it twisted. Not the same thing. Okay, are we actually, like, out of power right now? This is supposed to be, like, freezing. That's the goal here. Um, but yeah, apparently this just does not store enough power for everything. Because the shield is, uh, kind of down. That's okay. I mean, right now it's okay. I'm sure they'll do something to make it less okay. All right. Send it. I said send it. <laughs> Try that again. Uh... Why can't I place it anywhere down there? All right, send it over here then. Just get it over there, dude. There were more places I couldn't put it down than places I could. Yeah, we're probably going to need another source of power over here. Maybe get a nuke, nuclear reactor, the little small one that isn't worth much of anything else. <laughs> Build that over here. See how that works out for us. We'll see. We'll see. Once all that's, once all this is up, once the shield's up, once we uh, make sure that it's going to be cool in Shieldland. I think we'll be doing all right. How's this coming? Everybody's loading up. Almost got all the plasteel in it, which is fantastic. Mm, someone throwing down some vomit over here. Alex Theo Gray being forced to clean it up. How rude! Anyway, bunch more tier four bots coming up here in the, in the possible near future. You should be fully healed by now, right? Yeah, cleaner bot eighty. Cool. So we got cleaner bots, we got a couple of kitchen bots. What else would we want? Maybe some builder bots, maybe. Alibaba and Dark. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep the ones with names I really like. And then ditch the ones without. That's how we're gonna do. How's your barracks? I guess you'll tell me in the day. But a lot of these negative moods are gonna go away since we're gonna have a nice place to sleep. 
and a place to relax socially. Also nice, needless to say. Okay, the drop pod's almost here. You know, we can put the put the meals up there too. Uh, in fact, let's just turn off store food here. That way those will get moved. All right, guys, more crap. Let's get these vanometrics moved. And then let's go ahead and deconstruct one of these beds and replace it with the alpha poly one. Because right now the uh, it's 67 in here, somewhat impressive. I bet it can get a lot better. Speaking of loading up, let's get the big ship moving. All right, guys, shuttle incoming. Don't forget to send it back, preferably intact. You gotta clean up the blood. Okay. All right, that 14, go ahead and actually do this right now. And once that's done, we can place this over there. I really think it's going to do a lot for the room. Like, it's going to be nuts. All right, Mal getting some meal. Talk about parties with that 14. Mal's still in a bad mood, but you can see the mood starting to rise a little bit. You didn't need to wait so long to eat, but all right. Okay, Vanometrics are almost all up. This is good. This is good. During the day, we might be able to even store even more. Even store even more. Yeah. That's what I wanted. All right, that 14. Move that advanced bed over here. Layla is sleeping, but not happily. Ambient music should help as well. Anyway, the um, impressiveness went down to 65. We'll see where it is here in a little bit. All right, speaking of making it look a little bit more professional, we should probably put down some kind of flooring in here. I'll consider it. Okay, shield's not up yet. It's cool. The cooling has happened. So is it just because you're directly connected to the generator or what? I can't believe we have no power here. Hey, the shuttle's arrived. Sweet. 97. That's what I wanted. It's amazing what the inclusion of one bed can do for you. All right, turn off hover mode. Keep this thing here. Set up our... Oh, wait. No, that was one that we had already set. Um, and honestly, you don't have to worry about moving any of this stuff. Just refuel the shuttle. We'll send it back to space and we're good to go. That's really all there is to it. Shield claiming the good bed. What'd you give me? What you got for me, Cassie Classic? Over here in Ragamuffin. Ew! <laughs> I, don't, I ain't even gonna unforbid that. That's... No. Do not want. So S.H.I.E.L.D. has taken the Alpha Poly Advanced Bed with 428 rest effectiveness. So S.H.I.E.L.D. should be awake again in just a little bit. Thankfully, S.H.I.E.L.D. is a killer, so she's already in a good mood. I'm sorry. Uh, he's already in a good mood. There you go. Everyone has a bed except for the bots, right? That 12, 13, and 14. Yeah. 
Perfect. This is actual perfection. Or at least as close to it as we're getting in this day and age. Thanks again. Again, I didn't think of the first time. Thanks for watching this episode of Fet Plays RimWorld 1.0. That's the first one. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because RimWorld will keep coming and it probably won't stop coming. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld 1.0. My name is Fet, and I will see you in the next video.